Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel or welcome if this is the first time you're joining us. I'm Jen, also known as Blessed Yoga, and I thought I would take you outside today for our hip opening flow because it's a beautiful day in London. So whenever you're ready, hop on your mat and we'll get started. We're going to start out today lying down on our mat. So if you come all the way down onto your back and we're going to take feet together to touch so let your knees fall out to the side in a diamond shape and then relax your hands out to the side and just take that moment to arrive on your mat this morning or this afternoon whatever time of the day it is. Noticing how the body feels, how the weight of your knees and thighs draw your legs down closer to the floor. Don't worry too much about how close your feet are towards your bum, just really relaxing down into the pose. There's no achievement to be made here, just relaxing. And then we'll take one hand onto the belly, one hand onto the chest, starting to breathe in a little deeper in and out through your nose. Really blowing air into the belly, into the rib cage, into the chest. And as you exhale, feeling those areas underneath your hands, just sinking, softening down. Inhale to rise. Exhale to float down. Now we're going to be moving through the hip space today. And that's often an area that we hold a lot of tension in. It's where the sacral chakra is, where we hold a lot of our emotions. And so just noticing if things come up for you as you move through these hip opening flows, whether there's things that come up that you can just release in that moment. And your next breath in, taking hands all the way overhead, leave your feet exactly as they are. Big breath out. And as you breathe in, you're going to reach your hands all the way up towards the sky, sit up tall. And as you exhale, start to Fold forwards, reach forwards. You don't have to go far to feel that nice hip opening feeling. Big breath in. And exhale, fold a little deeper. Two more like that. Inhale. Exhale to fold. Last breath. Keep squeezing your bum cheek to draw your knees closer to the floor. Inhale and exhale. Walking hands back up towards you. You're gonna cross your legs just in a normal cross leg seated. Sweep your hands up to the sky. And exhale, we'll start to fold forwards again, reaching forwards in front of you. Really trying to fold from the hips, from that crease. Inhale, exhale, fold a little deeper. Relax your head and neck, inhale. And exhale, last breath. Good, starting to walk your hands back up towards you, either rolling over your feet or just sending them out to the side and coming up to hands and knees. Just starting to warm the spine up, starting to drop your belly, lift your chest, reach your tailbone high. Exhale, push and round for your cat pose. Just a few rounds like this, sinking your movement with your breath. Exhale to round. 
good. We'll just do one more. Inhale. And exhale. Good. Coming to a neutral spine. And then you're going to take knees together to touch and kick your right leg back behind you like you're stamping into a wall. Try and keep that right hip low so don't let it flare up and out. Keeping it in line with the left hip. And then pulling your core lower belly up, look forwards and reach that left hand forward. Inhale. And exhale. Float the left hand down, keep your right leg up and then you're going to start to kick up towards the sky bend into that right knee and then we're going to do some circles with the knee getting into that hip crease almost bringing your knee up and out oiling that hip joint good couple more last one Good. And then bringing your knee all the way up and out as far as you can go. You're going to try and step and land that right foot outside the right hand. And then leaning forwards into that front knee. Making sure it's not reaching over your ankle. If it is, you should crawl that right foot forwards more and wiggle your hands forwards more too. Really sinking deep into that left hip. Maybe taking some roll some circles moving side to side just feeling how your left hip feels today Good. and then if you want to you can start to wiggle your elbows down towards the floor if it's accessible for you if not absolutely stay up here we'll hold for two more breaths inhale and exhale Last breath, inhale and exhale. Good, pressing back into your hands. You're going to kick your right leg back behind you and then making sure your hands are underneath shoulders. Start to send your right foot out towards the right. And now what happens here is we tend to bend into the arms to compensate for that right foot. Keep both arms straight and strong. Keep your core engaged and just move your right leg out. Good, and now starting to bend a little over to the left. Try and plant your right foot in line with the left knee and crawl your hands back towards your body. Inhale, sweep up, standing up on that left knee. And as you exhale, roll that right hand down your right leg and reach over towards the right. Keep squeezing your hips forwards. Keep pressing into the outside edge of the right foot. One more breath. Good, coming back up to center. We're gonna crawl hands forwards and then pressing into both hands. Lift that right foot up, send it back and then down. And then stepping knees out a little bit wider, start to send your bum back down towards your heels for a child's pose. Just a couple breaths here, inhaling and exhaling. Just reconnecting with the breath. And then lifting all the way back up to tabletop. Knees together to touch, making sure your wrists are underneath your shoulders. You're going to kick your left back, left leg back behind you. Again, don't let that left hip flare up. Keep it low, keep it in line with the right hip. And then when you've pulled your tummy up and in, you've pushed your shoulder blades out your back, you're gonna lift the right hand forwards. Good, one more breath. Floating the right hand down, keep that left foot up, and then start to kick into the left foot to the sky, and then you're going to start to do your circles with that left knee. Big circles getting into the hip joint. Almost like your dog peeing on a fire hydrant. It's a really nice thought, isn't it? <laughs> one more. Big circle. And then on your next one, you're going to lift your knee really far out wide. 
and see if you can land the left foot outside the left hand really gently and elegantly. If it wasn't, don't worry. And then just starting to sink into that left knee, reminding yourself that if your knee is pushing forwards over your ankle, just wiggle the left foot forward slightly. Just taking little movements side to side, maybe some circles. This is your practice, so please feel free to move in whichever way feels good for you. And then if you want to, starting to drop the right elbow down and then the left. If it's accessible, if not, do not worry. You stay up here and just breathe through. Two more breaths, inhale. And exhale. One more breath in. And out. Pushing into the left hand and then the right. We're gonna to start to walk hands back slightly and then kick your left foot all the way back behind you, making sure wrists are underneath the shoulders. Start to send that left foot out to the side, remembering not to lean into the right elbow. We're really using our core and our glutes here to hold. And then trying to plant that left foot in line with the right knee. Walk your hands back towards you. Inhale, sweep your hands up to the sky. And as you exhale, dropping the left hand down your leg, reach over to the right and squeeze your hips forwards away from you. And squeeze your hips forwards, squeezing your bum. One more breath. And exhale. Sweeping hands all the way back down. We're going to walk forwards, press into the hands and lift the left foot and kick the left foot back behind us and drop your knee down to the floor. Tucking toes under, lifting your hips, push yourself all the way back to your downward facing dog. If that's what you need, if you need to take some pedals here, just starting to send one heel down and then the other. One more breath here. And then bending into both knees, big step forwards with the right toes and then the left coming into your forward fold, relaxing your head and neck down. And then we're gonna heel toe feet slightly wider so that your toes end up pointing outwards and your heels point inwards. And then you're gonna slowly start to sink your bum down towards the ground. And if you can, lifting your hands up off of the mat, I'll face you so you can see what I'm doing. And then when you're in your little yogi squat, you're gonna press your elbows into your knees. Keep breathing, lift the chest, inhale. And exhale. We're here for one more breath. You've got this. Inhale. And exhale. Good. Placing your hands down, sending your bum back up towards the sky. And what you're going to do is you're going to step back with the left toes all the way to the back of the mat. And then just adjust your hands so they're inside the right foot. From here, you're going to send the left heel down so toes are pointing the opposite way to the front foot at a 90 degree angle and then lifting your left hand up towards the sky and over your head you're going to reach over and you should feel that opening up in the right hip flexor so we're reaching we're pressing the right shoulder into the right knee if you can look towards the top arm one more breath inhale and exhale and on our next breath in, we're going to use that left hand to lift us all the way up to our warrior two. So you might want to adjust your front foot here so your heel is in line with the back arch of the foot. Squeezing your bum to lift the hips forwards and send your right knee out towards your baby toe. As you inhale, start to straighten the front leg. Reach your arms forwards, dropping 
the right hand inside the right calf, left hand towards the sky for your triangle pose. Keep squeezing your hips forwards and see if you can challenge yourself by looking to the top hand. Both legs stay stu super straight. Next breath in, lifting back up to warrior two, bend that front knee. Really nice, cartwheeling hands down. Frame the front foot high up on the back toes and then send your right foot all the way up towards the sky for a three-legged dog. And then starting to bend into that top knee, pointing your toes over towards the left, almost like you're trying to stack one hip on top of the other, imagining like you've got a scorpion tail. Keep opening your hips up. Nice, and then sending the right leg back up to the sky. Drop the right toes down and drop your knees down. Send your bum towards your heels for a child's pose. Re-engaging with the breath. If your hips have had enough staying close with the knees, if they want a bit more, you can open your knees wider. When you're ready, starting to lift back up. You're gonna come all the way up into your downward facing dog. And then holding here for a breath, inhale. And exhale. And then the next breath in, look forwards and see if you can take a big froggy hop outside your hands. Don't worry if you don't get there. Just playing, having fun and then seeing if you can sink your bum a little lower, coming back to that yogi squat. Elbows inside the knees, palms together to touch, maybe taking a little wiggle side to side, or just breathing your way through the discomfort, through it, that new awareness in the hips. One more breath. And exhale. Taking your hands down to the mat, bum to the sky. And if you want to, give your hips a little wiggle, your knees a wiggle. And then we're coming to the other side. So you're going to step back all the way to the back of the mat with the right toes and walk your hands back inside the left foot. From here, dropping the right heel down. So it's a warrior two foot on the back foot. Starting to lift your right hand up and over your head, reaching so you're creating one straight line from the right outside of the foot all the way to the right hand. Keep pressing that left shoulder inside the left knee. One more breath, inhale and exhale. On your next breath in, lifting all the way up to your warrior two. You might need to adjust your feet here so the front foot is in line with the back arch. And then inhaling, straightening that front knee. Exhale to reach forwards and drop that left hand inside left calf squeeze your hips forwards and if you want and if you want a challenge you can look towards that top hand one more breath inhaling back up to your warrior two and as you exhale cartwheel hands down frame the front foot high on the back toes and lift that left foot all the way up to your three-legged dog. Now from here, we start to bend into that top leg, point your toes over towards the right side and open up your hips, stacking one hip on top of the other. Keep breathing here. Good, inhaling left leg back up towards the sky and then dropping the left toes down. Dropping your knees down towards the floor. You're going to walk hands forwards just slightly and then send your right knee all the way forwards to the right wrist. And then taking your toes out towards the left to prep for pigeon pose. If you can, start to slide the left knee 
back away from the front one, coming up high onto fingertips and just checking, see if we can look behind, that your hips are in line with one another. So you're not sitting onto the right bum cheek, the left hip's not closer to the floor than the right. They're nice and square and equal. And then starting to walk, elbows down. If this is enough for you, staying here. If you want a little more, you start to reach your hands all the way out in front of you and rest your head down onto the mat. Just breathing here, noticing what's coming up for you, noticing your mind chattering away, saying, oh, I can't do this, or mm, this feels nice, whatever one it is, just sticking with it. One final breath. And then walking hands back towards your body, pressing into your hands, and then you're gonna send that right leg back behind you, kick it back, give it a nice shake out, doesn't have to be fancy, and then drop the right knee down. We'll do the same thing on the other side, left knee comes towards the left wrist, and then send the left toes out towards the right, you might have to give them a little wiggle, even a push with your hand, and then if you can, see if you can flex the left toes because it just protects the knee. Wiggling the right leg back away and then come up onto fingertips. Do your little check. The hips are in line. And then when you're happy, coming down onto your forearms. Again, if this is enough for you staying here, if you want a little more, please feel free to come all the way down flat towards the floor. And breathing. Maybe closing off the eyes. Seeing how your breath can just soften into those really tough, tight areas. One more breath. And then starting to lift up wherever you are. Send your weight backwards and release that left foot. Kick it back behind you. Give it a nice shake out. And then drop the left knee down towards the floor. And from here, we're going to come to sit onto our bum. So whichever way works for you, just coming down. I'm going to face you now so you can see what I'm doing. We're going to take the right foot down at about a 90 degree angle in front of us and then place the left foot on top of that right knee. So you might find that your knee is all the way up here which is absolutely fine. If it is you're going to take hands behind you and work like this. If not and you can sit up tall you're going to take one hand to your foot one hand to your knee and as you inhale start to lengthen as you exhale, exhale, start to gently press into that left knee and lean forward slightly. Not with force, just gently using the weight of your body to fold you forwards. And you should really feel that inside the hip crease. Inhaling and exhaling, leaning in. Big breath in. As you breathe out, start to lean. Good, you've just got one more. Inhale and exhale. Nice, and to release, you're gonna take hands back behind you if they're not already and kick your feet out in front. Taking both feet to the floor, we'll just windscreen wiper knees side to side to release the hip. Good. And then coming back to center, we'll go to the other side. So this time, taking the left 
shin out in front, the right foot's going to come on top, working with your options here, inhaling to lengthen, exhale to fold her forwards a little, inhale, exhale, fold in, keep breathing here, one more breath, And then leaning back, hands behind if they're not already. Release your foot, kick that out in front of you. And then we'll windscreen wiper. Side to side. Nice. Now from here, taking feet out in front, you're going to reach your hands forwards, roll yourself all the way down onto your mat to lie flat. Hands reach overhead. We're going to drop our knees out to the sides, coming back. To our diamond shape. And just releasing any control you are holding over the body, really trying to let your knees sink down, noticing that slight arch in the lower back. Seeing if you can relax your ribs down towards the floor. Enjoying this time to just relax and release. And if you want to stay here, staying here, if not, start to grab the outsides of the knees, draw them together. And then with the help of your hands and arms, lift yourself all the way up to a nice tall seat at the front of the mat. Sweeping hands overhead, taking palms together to touch. And then drawing hands and palms all the way down to the heart space. And just thank yourself for being vulnerable, for opening up, for allowing your body to move freely. And then gently bowing the head, bowing the chest. Namaste. Thank you so much for coming to practice with me today, guys. If you like this video, give it a like. If you haven't already, hit subscribe because there's new videos coming out every Thursday.